welcome <laughs> to ODI, to um, this ACRA event, planning for an uncertain future. I'd welcome all those here present, but also the people online. I hope we have quite a, a good number online, at least a lot of people have signed up. Um, so welcome to all present and, well, present physically or um, kind of online somehow. Two words of housekeeping first, quick. Um, toilets are at the end of the um, entr entry hall, um, the door to right to the right of the, of the lifts. And if the fire alarm should go off, it will definitely not be a drill. Um, so please leave that room on both ends and fire exits are on either end of uh, the, the hallway. And finally, for those tweeters among you, please feel free and tweet. Um, I think we do have some uh, that are doing it. Sam, I think you are the tweeter among us. Others, please feel free to do. Um, we'll also see what comes in through the uh, online portal in terms of questions or comments. Quickly, why this meeting today? Um, it marks the end of the research component of ACRA Phase 2, ACRA, the Africa Climate Change Resilience Alliance, a consortium of Oxfam, GB, ODI, um, Care, Save the Children, and World Vision. Within this consortium, ODI's role was focused on leading the research component, while the other partners took that research as input and evidence for their advocacy and capacity building activities in Uganda, Ethiopia and Mozambique. I'm sure Saskia will tell a little bit more about what ACRA is, its objectives and how it works in those three countries and internationally. The aim of the phase two of ACRA was to demonstrate how to incorporate adaptive capacity into policy making and development programming in those three countries with a specific view on decision making to enable development partners to better plan for an uncertain future. The title of the publication of which you have seen the summary and for which the main report, which is quite a hefty thing, is online um, and to download. Let me quickly introduce the speakers um, of today lined up nicely in <laughs> order of speaking. First off, we will have Saskia Duggett. She's the international coordinator of ACRA based in Kampala. And she would, as I already said, tell us more about ACRA, what it wants to achieve and how it does so. We then go on to hear from Dr. Rosalind Conforth, a senior research scientist at Reading Department of Meteorology and currently director of the AFCLIX, the Africa Climate Exchange, which is an action-oriented project aimed at facilitating the exchange of climate science and adaptation knowledge between African countries and the UK. AFCLIX also uses innovative tools, like ACRA did, um, to support communication and learning, and I think she will be telling us more about that in her presentation. We then move on to Lindsay Jones, a researcher at ODI's Climate and Environment Programme. He was involved in ACRA right from the beginning, including the design of the um, adaptive, the, the, the local adaptive capacity LAC framework, which you will be quickly hearing about, which was the, the, the key part of the research, but also capacity building advocacy uh, component of phase one. Lindsay will present the main findings from ACRA Research Phase 2 um, on flexible and forward-looking decision-making, or FFDM as we call it. We know it's a mouthful, but hope that at by the end of Lindsay's presentation, you will have a bit, a clearer idea what it is, why it is important, and how we approached it in the research in Uganda, uh, Ethiopia, and Mozambique. Next. Up is Dr. Duncan Green, Senior Strategy Advisor at Oxfam and Honorary Professor of International Development at Cardiff University. Um, many of you will know him from his book, From Poverty to Power, How Active Citizens and Effective States Can Change the World, or also from his daily development blog, From Poverty to Power. 
Duncan will give us his view on planning and how planning can be done in a world full of uncertainties, and including, hopefully, some critical views on the work we did and our report. After those presentations, we hope to have um, some time for a lively discussion, again, with the people present in this room, but also the online audience, um, which we can then, at least those present, continue over drinks and nibbles after six, which we have organized in the foyer um, outside there. So please, online participants, join in. If you have questions, um, send them in, and they will be uh, hopefully picked up in the discussion as well. Finally, without wanting to lose more time, I'm Eva Ludi, a research fellow in um, ODI's water policy program, and like Lindsay, I've been involved with ACRA since its inception more than four years ago, I think. And with that, it's over to Saskia. <laughs>